And starting this week, hospitals across Missouri will start hosting mass vaccination sites. And the goal is to vaccinate 5,000 Missourians at each location. Our Missouri Chief Capital Bureau reporter Emily Manley joins us live now to explain how this distribution plan will work. Emily. Well, Vic and Manly, Mandy, you know that we've been reporting now for a few weeks about the mass vaccination sites that are in the nine Missouri State Highway Patrol regions across the state. That's with the local health departments and also the Missouri National Guard. Now hospitals are joining the force to help vaccinate Missourians. And the state says they're going to allocate more than 50% of their shipment to hospitals. We think this is the best way to get a large amount of vaccine into arms as quick as we can. The Department of Health and Senior Services and the Missouri Hospital Association are teaming up in hopes to vaccinate thousands a week. We're starting to see uh, more regularity from the federal government on the uh, the, the size of the federal distribution. According to DHSS, the state is currently receiving around 76,000 doses a week. We now have from the federal government a, a pretty reliable distribution promise that we will be getting this amount of vaccine for the next several weeks. For the month of February, hospitals across the state were selected to administer just over half of the state's shipment. It is not going to be exclusively on hospital campuses. It will be in communities, similar to what we've seen in the last week or two with the Missouri National Guard. The hospitals are separated into the nine Missouri State Highway Patrol regions. Spokesperson for the Missouri Hospital Association, Dave Dillon, says allocation of the vaccine will be based on population. The majority of Pfizer will go to the metros and the majority of Moderna in this push will go to other areas. Dylan says the reason for Pfizer going to the big cities, the extreme cold freezers needed. But what about staffing these vaccination sites? The numbers in the state uh, for uh, you know positivity as well as hospitalizations are going down. But as the numbers diminished, uh, we're able to balance the out workload uh, to where we're doing immunizations in instead. Now, for those of you that have been to the Missouri National Guard sites, you know that you had to register before you went to the location. So I asked Williams, what's the plan for these hospitals that are participating in this new plan? He tells me that there is not going to be any registration that is involved with the state, but it would be up to each individual hospital if they would want to put something like that in place. Reporting live tonight for Missouri State Capitol Bureau in Jefferson City, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.